Now, many school pupils in Northern Ireland will be dusting off their uniforms for the first time since lockdown this morning as students begin a phased return to the classroom. It will be a very different experience, though. All sorts of measures, as you would imagine, in place to try and stop the spread of coronavirus. We can find out exactly what they are. Our island correspondent Chris Page is at a secondary school this morning in County Armagh. Good morning to you, Chris. Morning, Dan. Yes, whenever pupils arrive here at St Ronan's College in about uh, an hour or so, they'll notice some big differences immediately. This is one of the biggest schools, actually, in Northern Ireland. So each year group will be divided up uh, into bubbles. So each the school's been divided up then into uh, different zones. So some examples as to how that will work. The staircase, for example, has been marked out uh, as an upstairs uh, route only. So there will be one-way systems. And just across the other side of the corridor here, you can see this doors... Uh, been marked as an exit for year 11 pupils only. So this is, if you like, one of the boundaries between the different zones. The pupils coming back today, though, will mainly be pupils in year 12 and 14. They're the people sitting GCSEs and A-levels in the coming academic year. Also, children in the final year of primary school are going back. So I've been to one primary school in West Belfast to see how their preparations are going. More than five months after face-to-face -face lessons stopped, teachers have been preparing to welcome children into their classrooms again. St Paul's Primary School in West Belfast is in an area of high social deprivation, so the principal has decided to restart school for all pupils today and begin by focusing on their experience of lockdown. The children have probably been quite in quite close quarters at home, um, maybe no access to gardens and things like that. So just, just give them an, exp uh, an opportunity to, to speak about their experiences and to share that with, with each other. Hopefully we'll begin to allow them to start processing it and be ready to move on, be ready to start learning whenever we come back to the formal education. The difference to school life will be noticeable, not least colourful reminders of social distancing, but families are looking forward to the new term. Happy to see my friends again. Yeah, and I miss my friends. Obviously a lot of nervousness in terms of a lot of people's coming back together and you know you worry about whether that's going to cause further transmission or not but broadly speaking I think it's important to get the young people back. Homeschooling was fun but it'd be nice to have the teachers back doing it properly. Schools in Northern Ireland have been closed for longer than in the other UK nations. Reopening will be a learning experience for children, parents and teachers, a new term unlike any before. Chris Page, BBC News, Belfast. Well, back here at St Ronan's College in Lurgan in County Armagh, we're in a classroom that's been set aside for uh, children with, who are particularly vulnerable, those with uh, health conditions, uh, for example. We'll hear more details about that in just a moment. Firstly, let's have a word with Fiona Kane, who's the principal. Thanks very much for having us here this morning on BBC Breakfast. Fiona, what are your thoughts this morning? A big day for your staff and, of course, your students. Oh, we're really looking forward to welcoming our Year 12 and 14 students back to the college this morning. It's been a long time since we had them last in our classrooms, since March. Certainly has. And the devolved government in Northern Ireland has just announced £42 million of funding to help you. Things like covering potential staff absences, personal protective equipment. Will that money help? Absolutely. We're delighted at that announcement today because we were the only jurisdiction um, around the UK and in the Republic of Ireland that didn't have funding coming behind this restart programme. So I very much welcome um, the funding announcement today from the Minister. It will definitely take pressure, financial pressure off and enable schools to really focus on learning and teaching and learning and recovery and getting our, the very best for our young people's education. So that will very much be your focus, particularly in the coming weeks. Fiona, thanks very much indeed. Let's also speak to Maria Maguire, who's one of the teachers here. Maria, this classroom's been refurbished. We've seen the desks are spaced out. Clearly, making school work for vulnerable children is a really important part of bringing pupils back full time. Absolutely. It's really about building confidence, confidence for parents that they know that their children will be safe, especially for those who are medically vulnerable, and also for the young people to come back into an environment that they feel safe and secure in themselves, and we're able to do this with a very small protective bubble in this type of environment for them. Your thoughts um, on today? I'd imagine that during your career in teaching, this has been a very, very long time that you haven't seen a, a pupil face-to-face -face in a classroom. We have been open since um, Easter for, a very vul uh, for vulnerable children and for children of key workers, which has been great because we have been able to have those services. But the idea of having all our community back into the school building, because a school is not a school without our young people. So to have that life and everything back into the school, we're really excited about having that opportunity again. And have you missed it? 
Absolutely. That's what you're in teaching for, to help with the children. Yeah. So it's been great. Yeah. Well, all the very best indeed to you and to Fiona and to all your colleagues for the day that uh, lies ahead. That a lot of preparation has uh, gone uh, into today. We really appreciate you having us here at St Rooms this morning on BBC Breakfast. So, Dan and Nina, as you've heard, plenty of excitement, plenty of anticipation, also some nervousness, but on the whole, everybody here at this college and many others across Northern Ireland, primary and secondary level, very much looking forward to school coming back. It's been five months since uh, full classes were on and today is going to be a major day for teachers, for pupils, for the families and also of course for Northern Ireland's political leaders who will be wanting everything to run very, very smoothly indeed. Yeah, Absolutely. Thank, yeah, it'll be interesting to hear from uh, some students who are going back later as well. Chris yeah, and also just to lovely them. to hear from the teacher there who's mm. really excited about getting back and teaching yeah. kids again. You know, there is a lot of excitement as well, isn't it, amidst all of this anxiety and nervousness around the new way of working. Kids and teachers are dying to get back, aren't they? So yeah. I can also hear some teachers shouting, we've not been off since March. We know yes. that, you know, there are plenty of schools that have been working, looking after uh, key workers' children and, and been really busy uh, right throughout the pandemic. But working been, harder than ever in some ways. Yeah, and, I, you know, I've got a, a teenager, a new teenager in, in our house, one of our kids, and she's desperate to go back. So yes. it'd be really interesting to hear from the pupils later on with Chris. In